Cast this balance spell on yourself. It will increase your next spell's power. This one learns fast, Valistair. I hope that you guys like that intro that I made. It took me a little bit, so consider liking and subscribing. But I said that I would talk about the Elver release when it happened, and I was not happy about the crap show that came out. If you are not caught up, Elver has released a few days ago, and let's just say that, um... You know how they said 60 plus bug fixes? It's more of 60 plus new bugs. Um, the, <laughs> the game is not okay. Servers are lagging. Elver cannot be played on multiplayer without your frames dropping to zero. Let alone if you can even get a server up. I mean, I got a server up once and we played it for a bit and it was absolutely terrible. It gave me a migraine. It was not good. I was not happy while playing it. One place where credit is due is that at least single player is playable, I think. I heard that sometimes, like, the green cards or whatever those things are for the story, they don't work sometimes. Not really sure what that is. But to say that the Elver release um, was a failure is just, like, an understatement. I want you guys to know that this was supposed to be a paid DLC. And if this was a paid DLC and this is what they gave us, people would not be happy. I mean, people already aren't happy, but they would be extremely not happy if this was what came out of it so this is probably why they made it free was because of well how bad it's running and i do want to mention that i am playing on playstation and i've heard that xbox has a lot better of an experience but i mean they really need to get it working on both platforms because it seems like one has an okay experience and then the other either playstation or xbox will have an absolutely horrendous experience and they will take weeks to do stuff if you look at this tweet, they said that it's going to be a couple of weeks or a few weeks. I don't really remember because I don't have the tweet pulled up. But you guys see it. And that's just kind of ridiculous. I mean, Skyrim, their anniversary came out. This is a single player game that's been out for like 10 years. Had a patch the other day, two days ago on November 22nd. And that's for a single player game. That like, <laughs> doesn't need an anniversary patch for something as simple as, oh, sometimes your screen just blacks blacks out when you do too much it's, it's like we can't even play elver and skyrim's getting patches for occasionally freezing a game where it's a buggy max mess don't get me wrong this is a huge game and entering console is not a huge game and we can't even add a map without breaking everything so before i go on to the list of what's bad about this update i want to kind of talk about what's good about it so first off, Elver itself is actually really cool. Elver is just an absolutely amazing map, probably my favorite map now, and I've only played it for like an hour. It's just like, there's so much to explore. It seems condensed, kind of like Washington, Seattle, and Washington is literally considered the best map in the game. So I mean, if there's a map like Washington, it's probably going to be pretty decent. I mean, there's like cultists everywhere, which are pretty cool, and sometimes when you kill them, they'll go invisible and be... um invincible and will kill you and I that's a glitch I didn't mean to say that I was trying to talk about positive things but there's really not that many positive things honestly there was some bug fixes but it just feels like there's way more not bug fixes than bug fixes because like cars don't have sound the duplication glitch is still in the game I know you can get I know there's a new getting under the map glitch there is just so many glitches that are back and like there's so many that I don't even want to talk about all of them it's just like the major ones uh, I know that signs are glitchy again so they tried to fix that um, some people will blue screen but you know that's any game so I expect that to happen there's a bunch of elver glitches they figured out that the radios finally they figured out that radios destroy your crosshair and stuff or not crosshair but your HUD and I don't want them to remove that. There's actually like a bug fix list that they have. And the radios are on there. And I'm like, no, keep it. I thought that was an intended feature. But it's okay. That, I guess that's a glitch. Um, scopes, they tried to fix them and actually made them in a way worse. So now there's like this black thing around the crosshair when you zoom in with a scope. So it's harder to like see. I don't know why it's there. I heard it actually was intended. 
However, they did it wrong anyways, even though it was intended to do that. I don't know what's happening. Um, there's unobtainable items, but I think that was on purpose, because in the creative menu you can see unobtainable weapons. And I know I've already said this, but the frame rate is absolutely horrendous. It feels like, remember back way, way long ago, like eight months ago, where when you went to certain places on certain maps, it would just destroy your frame rate? That's Elver all the time, or at least in the main city. I haven't gone, like, across into the corner of the map, but in reality, who's going to be there very often? It's the main city that just lags your game and drops it to, like, three frames a second. Because I've already gone completely off script and I'm just listing things at this point, I do want to mention something pretty cool. When we were playing, McKeifer, one of my friends, he was just messing around. He was hosting the server at the time when we were playing. And all of a sudden, he got a fourth, like, menu. You know how it, like, says quit game, options, and then probably one other one. I don't remember what it is. Well, there was a fourth one that was, like, on the top or something, and it said ban slash admins. Do you know how cool that is? Like, of course it could be photoshopped or whatever, but he said he has a video clip and he was going to upload it. I don't know if he's uploaded it by now, but he might have. But basically, if that is true, that means that admins and stuff are coming to console. And our, I think, signature thing with like 82 signatures. Hey, it actually maybe did something or maybe it didn't and they just were going to add admins anyways. But who cares? Basically, uh, we have good news that admins might be coming to on turn console. We may be able to actually ban people. And I think that would be really good for the RP stuff. I know some people really just love griefing RPs, but can't wait for that to be added. Admins would be pretty cool. Banning is pretty cool. And we would actually be able to do some cool stuff. But obviously admins are not here. That's just probably a glitch. They probably just started working on it. Who knows? But this update was so depressing. It's just like I was going to do some cool videos when it came out. And then I didn't get to do them. And I had to cancel the recordings. And even Ruslan made a video about it. So if you want to see that, that'll be somewhere. Description or pinned comment. Who knows? <laughs> His video was... Pretty much the same thing, like saying, hey, cars don't work, blah, 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 this is depressing. The frame rate. He's actually playing on PS5, and he got so many better frames than me. I was on PS4, and the frame rate difference, it's, it's still terrible on PS5, but it's a lot better than on PS4. So let's read their exact tweet. Hello, players. We are aware of the issues some of you are experiencing after the Elver Free update, and we are working to fix them. A new patch will arrive in a couple of weeks. The whole team is working hard and we hope you enjoy the new content that awaits you. Our, the new content that awaits us. Yes, we are enjoying the content that is dropping our frame rates. Um, so, I just don't know what to do anymore. I just made a video about how Unturned Console is basically dead. And then the Elver update comes around and just makes it even worse. So, that's just kind of an oof. There's really not too much to talk about, honestly, because it's just the same things over and over again. Bugs, duplication glitches, under the map, frame rates dropping, it's just like I said, same thing. Elver is not even playable, and it's going to take them, according to them, a couple of weeks to finish or to patch. And even then, I don't know how helpful I am. So if they do manage to patch everything, then we have some faith. If it takes more than a few weeks... Yeah, it's just the game is not doing okay, so I'm going to end it because it's always the same thing. It's always, hey, this is depressing, this is what's depressing about it. But we've never really had anything good happen in Hunter and Console except for when they like added groups. But that's the only time, so I'll see you guys when I actually have some good news and something to talk about.